Girls, do you all know why I like this stream? Because men doesn't come here. So after this playing, we are going to pull off our clothes and bath freely. So let's go. Are you sure they won't disturb us? No. No. They will not come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful girls. <laughs> you, Tom. <laughs> she has a scar on her back. <laughs> You, are you from this village? No, no. Do you know me? No, yes. Yes, I know it. Akabog, Akabog. Akabog. <laughs> and whatever Akabog wants, he gets. <laughs> you, go over that way. Let me see you. Let me look at you properly. Let me take a good look. Beautiful girls. Are you people sure you're from this village? I've not seen faces like this before. <laughs> Turn around, everybody. Show me your backside. <laughs> <laughs> All this for me. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> come to my house this evening. Uh, no, can't wait. That get up. <laughs> it's a it's a bad. Can't you look where you are running to? No, no, please. We're very sorry. We're very sorry, sir. It's just that we're trying to escape the mirrors of Akabogu. Akabogu, no. We are taking a bath at the river where he's just standing on us. For no just cause. Akabogu, again. I wonder why that man is feeling too big in this village. I don't know. Eh? I pray that God will save us in this village, oh. That is what I pray for. That is what I pray for. Oh, Nico. Nico. Nah, eh. I wonder who. Oh, Roma. Mm, I don't even know what to do. I'm totally confused. Akaboko and Ikenga. You know, anyone I choose, is the one that will be my son-in-law. The worst part of it is that I hear that my daughter is having a secret affair with Ikenga. Lolo, you're confused because you want to be confused. Now, if you're asked to choose between elephant and a cricket, which one will you take? I choose elephant, of course. That is it. Ikenga is the cricket. Akabogo. Is the elephant. So, whichever one you choose will be your son in law. Hmm? Concerning the secret affair, the news is all over this village. Uh -uh. How do you know that? 
you forgotten I am radio without button <laughs> in this community. <laughs> Hey, Mboroma, mm. I forgot you are the newscaster in this village. Yes, it's me, the radio with our battery. <laughs> <sighs> but that, that is not the issue. The issue is for you to have your own male child. Yes. What is the meaning of this? Mboroma, you have started again. That is all this. Lolo, calm down now, calm down. Calm down. Samson, 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 what is it? Calm down. I'm just advising you as a good friend that I am. Hmm? Please calm down. Please calm down, okay? Because. Butu, Butu. What's your big one? Why are you, Marama? Why are you, Dure? It's just about my daughter, uh -huh. the princess. What about Look at her, Kabok. Uh -huh. Handsome man, handsome young man, mm -hmm. looking heavy. Mm -hmm. A warrior in this our community. Yes. Handsome man. But whenever I mentioned his name, my daughter would react negatively. Lolo. I don't know. Lolo. So you don't know that your daughter has an Ogbanje? Have you seen her eyeballs? That girl is an Ogbanje. Yes. That is why she's behaving like that. Mm. King, you're making another basket. Yes, 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 I am. Can I help you? No, I would have very much loved you to help me, but... Those fingers, I don't want you to sell them. You understand? And making basket is for us men. Okay, can I keep you company? Why not? I've always loved your company. Just so that you can give me inspiration, if nothing else. You know? Yeah, mama. If you don't want to sit, if you feel that is you can you can stand. Do you know that you're a very handsome man and very humble and very hard working. Thank you very much. But can we change the topic to another thing? You know, tomorrow is a... Uh, is it our fault? You're just pretending. As if you don't know that that is why every maiden in this village wants you as their husband. I think I have to suspend this. You're making me blush. Yes. Yeah. I think it's time for this wrestling something. I think I have to go. Oh, stop now. Why? Can't you stay with me for a little while? This wrestling competition is still in four market weeks. So, why the hurry? Listen, if you have to fight the kind of man I want to fight, you have to start preparing early. You don't have to wait until it's very, very close, or else you'll be disgraced. I made you a promise. I'm going to change everything in this community by going into this very wrestling. I have a point to prove. I want to prove it. So, I'm starting early. Look, that is not the point. What is the point? The point is that I always want us to be together. Chica, we have always been together, right from childhood. Like a brother and a sister, we almost grew up together, so... Can I ask you a question? Go ahead, ask. Do you love me? Yes, I love you like <laughs> a brother loves a sister. No, not like that. Like how? Do you love me like a man loves a woman? Do you love me? Listen, Chica, your father... Is my mentor. He adopted me as his son. To your father, I am his son. That makes me your brother. Look, I don't, I don't like this. I don't, I don't, all these things you people keep telling me. I don't want to hear it. But it's a fact. We're not even related. We're not even. It's not biological. Look, besides, you will soon get married to Akabogo. After I have beaten him, anyway, you get married and then you, you'll be very happy. It will never happen. Why? Because I don't love him. And I'll never ever end up with him. It's you I want. I don't want to offend you, Igwe. In my heart of hearts, if you ask me, if I were from another community, I just came into the very community, setting eyes on you, I would have asked for your hand in marriage. So why moment. don't you? I cannot. I'm not like a blood brother to you. Look, I don't care. All right? All I know is that I love you. I'm not like a sister loves a brother. I love you like a woman loves a man. And nothing can change my mind. Mm. 
my princess, my precious daughter. I'm waiting the day you will get married. And the whole community will know that I am the Lolo of an inter-community. Hey, that day so many things will happen. You will know who your mother is. The queen of Anita. Hey, hey, my dear, come to think of it. The wrestling contest is coming up soon. Who do you want to win? Is it your future husband or Ikinga? Tell me. Mama, I don't like the fact that you call Akaboko my future husband. We're not married and we're not even going to. He just made his intentions known. It does not mean I've accepted to marry him. Or, or is it by force? <laughs> and <laughs> if you ask me, I will tell you that I would prefer Ikenga to win that contest. My <laughs> dear, he's not just only making his intentions to know. You are betrothed to him. He's your husband. God forbid. And if you ask me again, I would prefer Ikenga to win that contest. Amadjoha! What did you say? <laughs> Princess, I hope what I heard is not true. There is a rumor going around that you're having a secret affair with him. I hope it's not true. Excuse me, Mama. What's the meaning of this? I am not having any affair with Ikenga. Okay? In fact, I wish I were. Yes, because I love him. And you know I do. I'm my daughter. Princess. Mama, I love him. In fact, you won't understand. Please, I would like to go to bed now, if you don't mind. Princess. Mama, please, good night. Please. Please. You, the great warrior of our time, Akabol. You greet me with love and respect, yet your heart is far away from me. How dare you? How dare you disobey my orders? How dare you? I asked you not to walk on that farmland again, but you refused. Yes, it is true your ancestors owned that farmland, but I want it. Anything Akabogo, the great warrior wants, he gets. Let me tell you something here, boy. The next time I see you close to that farmland or get into that farmland, you are dead. Now disappear. No! Is intoxicating the way power is intoxicating you, and the way you are, you know, power is making you. Mm, mm. I'm just wondering what will happen if you become the Igwe, the ultimate power. <laughs> Greetings, His Majesty, the brave warrior of his people. Greetings. But don't forget that I am Ayanka. Keep quiet! I am Ayanka, the great warrior of our people. If not that I lost my hand in the battle of Igede, you know who I am. Keep quiet! I am Akabogu. Don't challenge Ayanka! A lot of people lost their lives in that battle. Don't remind me of the past. <sighs> don't remind me of the past. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm. Yeah, but it's okay. That's not good here anymore, it's okay. Uh, do you have good news for me? Oh, news? <laughs> Ayangba always has news. 
It depends on the kind of news and how much you are ready to pay. Listen, I am I'm ready to pay anything. Anything? I'm talking about the princess. About the princess? Oh, the princess. As fair as the morning sun. Angelic. Radiant. She is as fresh as fresh palm wine. Oh. The princess is still as beautiful as ever. And she is still, you know, very radiant. <laughs> there is nothing about the princess. She's fine. Oh, is there... I mean, you know, she's all I can see. Tell me, what's our situation now? Hmm. Akabuku. The cloud is dark. It's like it's going to rain. There is no way there. I think the princess has another man in her life now. One that she loves very well. Who? You said who? Yes. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have to hurry up. That's a matter for another time. Hmm? I have to hurry now. I I was just going to see my friend um, down the. Oh, I am uh, not so fast. Listen, I have fresh pan wine and bush meat in my house. Fresh pan wine. Let's go. Bush meat. Yes. Ah, come on. The other one can wait. It can wait. <laughs> you make me vibrate. You will make me vibrate. You have started again. This is not the time for war. You started again. You You make me vibrate. You make me I remember the war. I remember the day when men were men. <laughs> Star, you are all that I can see. <laughs> you are my jewel of inestimable value, priceless jewel. <laughs> I can even go as far as getting the moon for you. Hey, okay. How am I sure about that? I've just told you, you are all that I can see. You are everything. Really? <laughs> Robin, that princess of Ega, I don't know what's wrong with her. She's so full of herself. Forget the princess. Adara, forget the princess. Hmm? You make a man dance to the rhythm of the gods. I hope you're not flattering me. No, I am not. Okay. Let's, let's eat and drink. Eh? For me, drink huh? and be happy. Drink. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, this so, is fresh. So sweet. <laughs> Later, I will show you how a man dances <laughs> to the rhythm of the gods. <laughs> first tiny time I hear his voice and I feel the combined emotion of a cobra sting and the soothing relief of the antidote. He has swept me off my feet and yet they say he's my brother. But what I feel for him is more than what a sister feels for a brother. Hey, I just want to hold him in my arms. You, his manhood. My princess, do you mean the warrior? He seems to love you so much. How dare you? How dare you speak when I haven't asked you to? Eh? And who made you Akabogu's mouthpiece? Mouthpiece? Me? 
<laughs> I don't even like him at all. My princess, you're such a lenient person. If I were you, I would have asked Igwe to stop him from entering to this palace. Come to think of it. Are you sure he has not shamed the Igwe? You must be out of your mind. How dare you say such a thing? I hope my being this, this way with you hasn't made you forget your manners. I'm sorry, my princess. You better be. Please. Hello. Thank you so much, I'm fed. Um, there's something I want to suggest. I want to tell you something. Do you know it's good for a woman to have a male child? <laughs> um, that is why I said you should get a boy that will make you have a male child because the problem might be from Igwe, your husband. Yes. It is good for a woman to have a male child because your stay in this palace is at stake. God forbid. Bruma, what are you saying? I should do what? The God of this land forbid it. And let me tell you, my husband, the king of this land, loves me so much. And I know he will never marry any other woman. Yes. I will not do such a thing. I will not. No, no. It is good to have it either from this place or the other place. If you don't have the eyes of getting them, I, Mboroma, will personally fetch somebody that will help you do that. And as for the gods, I know what you will hold and they will be at sleep. Mboroma, just Stand up and leave this palace right now! Stand up! What kind of suggestion is that? Lolo, Lolo, calm down, calm down, calm down. You're calling the attention of your guides. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Did you say I should go? Just go. It's okay. Eh, eh, Lolo, please. You know, you thought of your cream and your massage. Hey, don't worry. I'm going to call people that will do it for you, okay? Please, just calm down. Mama, leave this palace. I will. Leave the palace! I don't have a male child. Anybody will just come from nowhere. That's an anyhow. God of this land. That's why I am sending you here for thorough investigation. Because I mean that I do the way your people. I've been in two times. I just said this why they should have my people. Igwe, you can rely on me. And Igwe, during my investigation, if I find out... Beautiful maidens, beautiful maidens. Igwe, during my investigation, if I find out that our people have been hurt by these so-called people, I will unleash the lion in me, Igwe. <laughs> I will unleash, I will unleash the lion in me, Igwe lion himself. Igwe, I will unleash the lion in me. It's not time yet. It's not time for war yet. Take it easy. The lion himself. Igwe. Igwe, don't trigger me. You have started the game. You may go. 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 You may go.
Ha. Ah. Great warrior. I greet you. You don't know your senior anymore. Listen. I don't receive greetings from people like you. And besides, you are a bastard. And greetings from a bastard is not worth it. Huh. Akabog. If it comes to age, you're not my senior. I'm not sure. But you're a senior warrior. I recognize that. I acclaim it. Even at that, a good warrior is not supposed to be boastful. But you're very boastful. Which rubs off on your qualification. Well, thanks for the compliment. You know what? You should now start searching for where you're coming from because you don't belong to this town. And for your information, <laughs> stay clear from the Igwe's daughter. Because I, <laughs> Akabogo, I am the only strongest man in this town. She's betrothed to. Mm. You think you are the strongest man, Akaboko? That is what you think. The strongest man is not yet known. Until on the wrestling day, Look, let me tell you, Ibi doesn't signify the strongest manhood. It's a sickness. Elephantasis is a sickness. It's not a sign of health. So, don't use your size to try and intimidate me, Kenga. I am going to crush you. I will crush you and spread you in the air. Let us wait until the day of rest. Ikena, don't ever, ever in your life, don't. Akabogo, the wrestling ground will now say who is the greatest warrior. I may not be the greatest, but you are definitely not the greatest warrior. On that very day, you shall be tested. The bastard. I should look for my route, where I'm coming from. We shall see. Call me a bastard. Saying that I don't belong to this land. Don't worry, my son. Hmm? Don't worry. But what I'm assuring you is that you are part and parcel of this land. Your kindness and humility have been greatly admired by everybody in Amenta. Thank you. But I, I, I think he still has to be warned. Instead of spreading these rumors about me or, or, or this gossip. Even threatening me. Whether he threatens you or not, my people will never betray you. And you are even free to marry from this town. Thank you, Igwe. Thank you, Igwe. I'm so pleased, sir. Can I now go for my trap? Because I haven't finished it before he... Um, uh, no, 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 wait, wait. That reminds me. Uh, I would like to advise you not to challenge him in wrestling bouts. Because he's the strongest person in this town. Nobody can defeat him. Please, my son, your life is very, very important to me. Igwe, nothing is going to happen to me. I believe strength comes more from the heart than from the bones. With the kind of determination and the, the guts I have now, I think we may see some changes. I am very large and strong inside my heart, even though I might look smaller than it is. If I don't mind, I will challenge him. I like your courage, but your life is more important to me. If we're nothing is going to happen to my life, I can assure you that he's not my God. It is better I engage him in a fight and get defeated than sit like a coward on the fence. No. Igwe, what makes a brave man? It is all the things we have passed through in life. The dangers. It doesn't mean that you can escape from all of them scot-free, unscathed. But you're participating. My, even my heart is telling me a different thing. I don't have any fears. <laughs> okay. Thank you, my son. I believe I can go now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my son.
You know you're a handsome man. Uh, <laughs> and I like you so much. Thank you very much. I like and you. you. Are a beautiful woman. <laughs> thank you, Igwe. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Igwe, you know Lolo, your wife, is my good friend. Yes, sir. And uh, we grew up together. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why she cannot give you so many children? Because she has destroyed her womb. Huh? Yes, she destroyed her womb. That is why she cannot have another issue. Oh my God! Her womb is damaged. Huh? Yes, yes. Hey, mm -hmm. Igwe, mm -hmm. you can see me now. I like you so much. Mboroma, mwa de kacha. Mboroma. Oh my God! <laughs> you know I like my friend very well. Okay. But I'm doing it for you. Thank hmm? you. Thank I want you. to give you a male child. Huh? You need it. I, I you need, need a male need. child as a king. I need this. I have someone I that will take this. after you. Uh -huh. Yes. And the happen is once told me that once any man crosses me, yes. I will have triplets. Oh God. Yes, Igwe. Huh? I want to have issues with you, not an issue. Issues with you. Omo, omo, omo. Oh my God. Yes. If you go to na if na chun ukeno, can't force you to Eh? Uh, what I've been looking for since I've gotten it. Yes, now. Eh? I'm very much available. <laughs> I, I am oh home, Gavan. Kedo gaga, kedo gaga, mukoni, kedo gaga, but you know. Eh? Now it's in your hand, Igwe. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Uh, Bothering you. Tell me, your face isn't looking bright. Adeke, my friend. There's something that confuses me. What? You know, Ikenga. I grew up to meet Ikenga in this palace. And ever since then, each time we're together, it's like a new lease of life has been given to me. And then I am filled with so much joy. I don't know. It confuses me. Please tell me what to do. Princess, there is nothing wrong in loving the brother. Because you are like a sister to him. But please, hmm? take it easy. Because if Akabog finds out, he will not take it lightly with you. You know he loves you. Then there's a problem. What's the problem? Because I don't love him. Okay? I don't have any feelings for him. I don't care who he is. You don't understand it. I do not want to get into a marriage that I will, I will forever regret in my life. I need to be happy. You are missing the point, my friend. You are missing the point. I know what your mind is telling you. But let me tell you that Ikenga does not have any future with you. Firstly, he's not the son of the soil. Secondly, he doesn't have a royal blood and nobody knows where he comes from. Ikenga is completely a stranger. Mm -hmm. But we do. I don't see anything wrong with Akaboka. I don't know why you hate him this much. He is a very strong man. And so, Igwe likes him. And if he marries you, he will be the future king. And you, our queen. Fiakwa. My mother have forbid it. Because it will never happen. Alright? That arrogant and pompous man that does not have a heart because he's a warrior. Look. The gods of our land will never allow that arrogant man to be the future king. And my father, he will never sanction it. My princess, 
Love is a gradual process. When you will grow to love him. Oh, please. What, what is wrong <laughs> Great warrior! Your rival is a strong man. But there's no need to be afraid. He will prove difficult, but you shall win. Wise one, wise one, why can't you do something? Eh? Wise one, I want his defeat to be easier. I don't want him to stay long. Look, wise one, I just want to bring shame and disgrace to him. That's what I want. <laughs> why am I called the vulture of the night? The king of the night. <laughs> Come, my son, let me bestow on you the powers of the mystic tree. <laughs> My son, you are non invisible. You are non indestructible. You are non a conqueror. Wherever you go, you will conquer. Thank you, wise one. May the God. Oh, when I move, I'm in the way, and everyone I have to go, what I need for me. What I do, I grow up, and everyone I have to go. me so much of course, no, no, no. and there's nothing you will tell him that will make him to leave me for anyone or even you no for what what kind of friend are you not i didn't tell him anything Igwe, did i didn't tell you anything nothing you surprised me Igwe. you are not a good friend at all Igwe. Igwe. look Please. you are Hi. not ready to enter this palace Your worthy son, I'm here again to tap. 
from your strength even though i've given you a goat before this time i'll give you a cow if you just make me win just this once Adeke, why are you disturbing me with, with Akabogo? What is wrong with you? Eh? Did he bribe you? No. Because you keep bugging my life. I don't want that man. Princess, I want the best for you. How do you know the best for me? See, I'm your friend and I will give you a good advice. Just look at Akabogo. He's a real man and can handle you very well. Hey, my princess. You need someone to handle you very well. Not just that uh, Ikenga. Let me tell you something. If there were no Ikenga, or I did not grow up to meet any Ikenga in this palace, I would never, ever in my life, have anything to do with Akabogo because he's not my type of man. So, but anyway, there happens to be an Ikenga. So, that makes it even worse. Damn. And let me tell you where Akabogo belongs. Akabogo belongs with the buffaloes and the baboons and the gorillas of the forest. Because it's a wild beast. Take it easy. What if he hears that? So what will happen? What will he do? Princess. Please. Anyway, have you prepared my oil, you know, for the toning of my skin yes, and yes. my massage? I have my princess. Mm. Mm. Okay. Thank you. We used to know how we are at our I'm telling you, everything has I don't like it at all. I don't know where my own will be. Huh? Okay. Huh? So. But you've not got money now. You've not got money. You know I have double profession. I'll tap more for wine mm -hmm. and I'll farm more. Just for you? Just for you. I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's just see us. It's getting late. I'll, I'll just tell my parents about that. Excuse me. Uh, are you from this village? No, no. we are from an intervillage. Uh, okay. Well done. Okay. Uh. <laughs> hey, get up. Don't kill us, please. Please, don't kill us. Please, 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 stand off, stand off, stand off, stand off, please, 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 Follow Ikenga. So you came all the way from your house just to tell me the princess refused. Despite all that I've done. I tried my best. I did my best for you. The princess mind is so stubborn. She drove me out from her house. Ikenga. Ikenga. That idiot. So that idiot succeeded in taking that which belongs to me. Something I share so much. I will crush him. I will crush him with my bare hands. I will crush him and feed him to the vultures. There is no need for you. There is no need for you. There is a solution. Solution, what mm -hmm. solution? I am the solution. Mm -hmm. Great man. See, I've been looking for this opportunity to tell you 
how much I love you. Since the princess has made up her mind to follow Ikenga, that means she's no longer for you. Why not me? Hmm? Just look at me. Wait a I like you a lot. So you're the one spoiling my plan. I thought I was dining with a friend. I never knew I was dining with the devil. Please, what is it she can give you that I cannot? Hmm? What is it, great one? Just look at me. Hmm? If I ever, I if I ever see you, sorry, you. again. Hey, great one, sorry. All you ask for is love making, love making. Am I not old enough to get married? Come, Adora, you taste like honey. I enjoy every bit of it with you. What is your problem? If you love me, tell the whole world that you love me. Fix a date for a traditional marriage. Marriage? Far from it. Look, listen. My heart is with the princess. And my destiny lies in the princess. You mean you've been deceiving me all this way? <laughs> you've been deceiving me all this oh. way? You know the risk I take because of you from the palace? Listen, listen, listen to me. It's not a must that people will relate to this wish of marry. <laughs> You're so sweet. Come on. You, you, you. I matter how we judge both of us. Adaura. Don't take this thing away. Me, now. Me, <laughs> eh? Don't go with this thing, Adaura. It is too late for it to be going. Mm. What is happening? Hey! Igwe! Igwe! This killing of our people by Umunenye is getting too much! Let us go inside the village and kill more of their kinsmen so that they will have a sound of lesson. It's true. You are correct. Because if we don't do it like that, they will think we are weak. You are right. We are not weak. Mm -hmm. Let us take it easy. Let's not rush our decision. Um, Ichi Igiligi, mm -hmm. tomorrow, you and Ichi Jamba will go to Umunenye. Tell the Aigwe that I said that he should tell me the reason why his men killed our men that went there for a wedding ceremony. Yes. What offense did they commit? Igwe, mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. not that you are a peaceful man, we will penetrate inside the village and kill more of them. Mm -hmm. Akabogu, Akabog. What can you do? What can you do? Akabog, 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 Akabog. Hey! Show him what the 
Acabog, 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 Ok, do redu, Acabog, 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 it's not about being afraid of him, but I don't want him to hurt you. Why would he hurt me? Because he has very huge structure. I have to do it because it's like he harasses the whole village. Because he happens to be acclaimed as the warrior, the greatest warrior, the do whatever you have, the greatest wrestler. You see the way he was holding you? He rough handles almost everybody in the village. Is it fair? Somebody will have to stop him from doing those negative things. Please, let it be another person. Let another person challenge him, not you. Why not me, for kingdom's sake? Because I love you. If and I don't you... want anything to happen to you. Agreed. I love you too, my dear sister. Suppose I hurt him. Have you thought of that? So, I don't want everybody to be jittery. Because he passes along the road with such elegance and all that. I am not saying that he doesn't deserve it, but I am saying that he has to know that as God created him, created other people that can challenge him, no matter the size. Don't worry. If you know your heart will not be at rest on that day, don't come to the arena. We'll bring you good news. News. Good news. I just don't want you to be hurt. It will not be fair on the way. It will even not be fair on you. If I withdraw you from this contest at this last hour. Because like I told you, a man doesn't spit out and then collect the spittle after the thing has hit the ground. Okay? Accept this challenge as I have accepted it. And pray that we are going to be successful. I'd rather lose than withdraw. If I lose, I will lose gallantly. Nobody's going to hurt me. Okay? Okay. Promise me you won't shake your heart again. Promise me you'll be brave the way I am. And you'll give me all the trust. That is what is going to make me win this contest. Promise? Thank you. That's my sister. That's my sister. Don't worry. Okay? Igwe, our king sent two of four to go and find out why our two king's men were killed by your people. Your people? Yes. You are killed by my people? Yes. It's your animal. You will hear him. Igwe, I am confused about what you are saying. Mm -hmm. I am at sea. For one thing, I remember a chief sitter telling me about the death of two people. But there are two versions to the story. One version has it that they were killed as a result of their quarrel over a piece of our land. And yet another version has it that they were killed at their own border for ritual purposes. Father, I believe that those people from Aninta were killed because they were planning to take some parts of our land. You see? Two of them were killed when they were returning from Ebanko. <laughs> hey, it's here, Igiligi. You're an adult. An adult does not tell lies. You are a leader of a town. Remember, a she goat does not suffer the pains of parturition on his tether while an adult is in the house. Women yes. has existed very many years before the emergence of an enter. That is not the case. You see, claiming to, claiming to say that uh, we are part and parcel of them, yes. it's robbing us what belongs to us. You are a leader that said the truth. Listen, listen, my friends. You can now go home and tell your Never to send you this type of message to me. Igwe, is that the only message you have for us, for Igwe? Yes. My That's friend, come and sit down. You are talking to Igwe of a town. Are you crazy? We are talking about killing of our two kids, men. Okay, killing of two of your men. Yes. They deserve it. That's why they die. Yeah. Yes. Hey, get up and go. I said, get up and go. You go. Go, go, go. Igwe, is that the message? Go. That's the message. Go and tell your Igwe what you are saying. Just 
in where? These people have been fighting and trying to claim the land that belongs to us. Yes! And that's why they were killed. And they cannot have it. Oh, so they deserve it. A son that seeks for the blessing of his father is a true son. Go and wrestle with him. The great gods will deal with you. Hmm? I will try not to disappoint you. Thank you, my son. Come on, Andrew. Andrew, my son. My king. How come you're taking side with the king? You've just blessed him, and you did not bless Akabogo, your future son-in-law. Hey, that boy is coming into my house. It's a blessing to me. Not only in my household, but to the entire community. Eh? I think um, that boy is a gift from the gods. From Amadioha, the great Amadioha. And as it is, Akabog will never marry my daughter. Kitchen, you know, you know, you're gonna 